Hey, welcome back everybody. Coming to you live from the Jeep. So today on Kevin's Adventures, we're gonna talk about conservation while building a bushcraft shelter. Stick around. do this so when i took on this project for the bushcraft base camp i immediately started watching videos to get some ideas and man one of the glaring elephants in the room was where the heck do you get all the resources to make something like that so i started to struggle with the idea and i almost pulled the plug on the entire project however when i started driving to work during the winter months I noticed that after every snowstorm, there was tons of downed limbs on the side of the road. So I've devised this plan, guys, where I'm just going to jump out of my vehicle with my handsaw, lop off some of these limbs, clean them up, and just jam them in the back of my Jeep. And this way, when I go out to Bushcraft Base Camp, I'll carry the wood with me, and I'll actually have a clear conscience that I did not rape the forest of all of its resources to build an elaborate permanent shelter. So, hey, we'll see how this goes. Please tune in and follow along. That was a long one. Wow, that was some tough sledding. But... I got four, at least six to seven foot pieces that I can cut up to make my bench. Man down. All right, time to regroup. Oh. Whew. Wow. It's a labor of love. Man, I never catch those flyovers at Bushcraft Base Camp. Got it this time, though. So part two of this video is a mail call. So the first channel I want to shout out is... Lost on Land Again. Lola over there sent me a beautiful letter. And she just had a Lola Palooza this fall. And it was amazing down in Texas. A whole bunch of YouTubers got together. She sent me some swag from that, and I appreciate it. She's been a longtime supporter of mine. Definitely go check out her channel down in the description box below. She's an amazing van camper. Gets out there every week, and fascinating stuff to watch from boondocking. She's got a drone, takes awesome footage, you know, usually at sunset. So it's a great channel to follow, especially if you're into van camping or outdoors in general. So thanks again, Lola. All right, this gentleman sent me this beautiful card. Now, I had it up. I put it in here so I could do the, uh, the mail call. So this is from Darren Sharon. Now, Darren, another Canadian friend of mine, and he sent me a beautiful Christmas card. He sent me well wishes and some farmery stickers, which I have received some stickers before from him. Some nice Canada swag that'll go up on the board. And of course, the Darren Sharon channel sticker. Appreciate it, Darren, you're an awesome sub. So go check out Darren Sharon. He's a really good guy and I'm gonna adopt one of his policies. He has like a monthly mail call. This way he doesn't inundate his channel with all kinds of mail. So I'm gonna adopt the same type of thing. This way I don't end up with a Mountain mail. ever again. All right, let's continue to dig in here. So this piece of mail right here is very precious to me because not only is it over a year old, I found it. So what happened was I had a flood in my basement when I was on vacation, I think about a year and a half ago, and my father-in-law kind of removed all my stuff down in the bunker. He, uh, you know, took it off the floor. Well, this was misplaced. This package right here was put up in a place that I had no idea it was. And ultimately, when I found it, because I just cleaned up the bunker and I kind of organized all my stuff, I'm dying to rip into this. It's from Shalisa Shell. And if you guys are familiar with her channel, you might be familiar with her that 
guys, she has endured more pain and suffering than, you know, a lifetime. It's terrible, guys, from kidney disease. Um, she just, you know, having an epidural kind of just the back, you know, injection causes all kinds of trauma for this girl. She just can't catch a break. So whether you're subscribed to her or not, there's a link down below. It'll be the first channel I put in there. Just go over there and just leave a random comment on one of her random videos saying that Kevin sent me over here just to say hi, give her some well wishes, and, you know, try to just give her some type of spiritual encouragement to, you know, basically mind over matter, try to heal herself because this girl just can't catch a break. So, Shalisa Shell, I'll have it down below in the description box, and you can go check out her channel. She actually said, Kevin, this is for the gift you sent me. Thank you. P.S. I just happen to have an extra. So we only can guess what's inside here. Oh, boy. Like the saber tooth tiger, how did he do it? Maybe was he like this? Look at these pieces of fat wood. Nice. Look at this one. It's like literally a point. Man, I'm embarrassed. It's really nice. It's a beautiful gift. And I'm sad that it sat there that long, Shalisa. But I'm thinking about you, sending well wishes your way, and hopefully people go over there and give you a little boost of, you know, confidence and inspiration to try and get well and again i'm pulling for you okay buddy thanks again guys shalisa shell all right this piece of mail it's from my boy calvin at calvin's corner 72 good old southern boy really love his channel guys he does bushcrafting bush cooking he does college football he one of my favorite things about his channel and probably my best uh channel for this is he does um artifact hunting he goes out in farmer's fields and he looks for, you know, points and arrowheads, artifacts, tools, primitive tools and stuff. And I'm really fascinated by that. And I found a few Just things. to show you guys a primitive tool that I found. This goes to a mortar and pestle set, of course. And this stone fits perfectly in your hand to grind. So it's about time. I got some of his world-famous beef jerky. There's the swag. Bang. Hope you enjoy the bush jerky. Thanks, Kevin, for everything, man. Now enjoy my spicy meat. Whew, that was a little personal, but this is gonna taste good. Now, mm. Ah. Mmm. The spice. Ah. He, like, totally hooked me up. This is a piece of broken flint. It was part of a point that broke off and this thing man i'll be able to use it for flint and steel so you can see it's got napping all over it man oh just want to make sure there's no more okay so he says this is a little artifact that he found and he was thinking it could make a really really cool necklace man i love it dude that is awesome, guys. I'm going to take better pictures so you can see them. I don't know how the light's doing right now. But wow, man. That is beautiful, guy. And I am definitely going to make a necklace with it. Thank you so much. Those are going in Mama's pouch so, right here. Guys, that's going to do it for today. I've shown you how to, you know, build a structure without wrecking the forest. We've gone through some awesome mail from some great channels. Whatever you do, be sure to click on Shalisa Shell link and just go to one of her videos and say hi. I don't even care if you watch the video, just give her some type of encouragement to keep pushing through and being strong. So that's it for me, guys. I appreciate you watching. Share this video, like it, and I'll see you in the next one.